Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I am Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thanks for joining us. Hey, you know, we've been doing a lot of geeking out lately about this ongoing lawsuit with the Washington State Magazine ban, now codified as RCW 9.41.370. And while we have simultaneous cases kicking around on both the Western District and Eastern District of Washington, there has been some significant developments, not good news for certain individuals, but perhaps good news for the rest of us, and it has to do with the Attorney General deciding to, I don't know, kick it up a notch and make sure that this war goes full on hot. So today we're going to have to spend a few minutes and talk about the Attorney General sues a gun store for magazines they sold. But did he do us a favor? Okay, so the issue we're talking about yet again today is RCW 9.41.370, better known as Washington Standard Magazine Capacity Ban, passed through Senate Bill 5078, enacted into law July 1st of this year. The lawsuits soon thereafter followed. Now, as these lawsuits have been going around, and we've talked to Joel Lard about the case of Sullivan v. Ferguson, we've talked to Pete Serrano about the case of Brumbach v. Ferguson on a couple of occasions, one of the arguments that the state is routinely raising as to why Brumbach, Sullivan, and any of these other plaintiffs don't have ground to stand on is they lack something called standing. Standing basically is a fancy term for, hey, can you demonstrate that this law has actually affected you in some negative way? If you can't do that, then you don't necessarily get to sue to overturn a law just because you don't like it. You have to be unlawfully aggrieved or injured by that law. And so what's happened in a lot of these cases, and you see this also on the national level too, is you will get groups, Second Amendment Foundation, Firearms Policy Coalition, Gun Owners of America, Silent Majority Foundation, they will sue on behalf of certain individuals. Those certain individuals, however, don't can't really claim that they have injury. They, the claim may be like, well, I want to go buy more high capacity magazines, but I can't because they're not available. And there certainly is case law out there that says, listen, a, an infringement of a constitutional right constitutes enough injury for anybody to sue over that. And I do believe that that is good law. Now, the state of Washington doesn't agree with me in some instances, and that is whenever the argument works for them. And what they have been making this argument over and over time and time again is, listen, this law has not been enforced. There's no injury to this person. They're not facing incarceration. They're not facing monetary penalties. And for that reason, they don't have standing to even bring the suit. It gives a judge a very easy out to just wipe the slate clean and not have to deal with it. So what you really need is you need a party that could actually say, hey, listen, this law is in fact negatively affecting me. I'm being prosecuted under it. Well, although I'm not usually complimentary of attorney General Bob Ferguson, he has in fact done us a huge favor today. Now I learned about this at about 11 o'clock this morning. I happened to be on the phone with Pete Serrano with the Silent Majority Foundation. We were geeking out about a bunch of Oregon stuff when he told me that, hey, a firearms dealer in Federal Way, Washington was currently being served with papers by the Attorney General's office. So the business Federal Way Discount Guns was served with papers today where they are being sued by Attorney General Ferguson under Washington's Consumer Protection Act, because as we know, under RCW 9.41.375, also passed through Senate Bill 5078, that it is an unlawful consumer protection violation. It is unfair trade practices under Washington law if you sell high capacity magazines. Well, according to this story, our state attorney general has been hard at work trying to bust licensed FFLs in the state. The story from MyNorthwest.com states, Federal Way Discount Guns was hit with the lawsuit after state investigators looked into 25 firearm dealers across Washington posing as prospective buyers. The investigators visited the store four times between August and November, and each time they made an illegal purchase. The clerk destroyed the record of the sale or made a comment to the investigator suggesting that they knew the sale was illegal. Okay, and I want to remind everyone that, again, these are only allegations made by the Attorney General's office published on MyNorthwest.com. The story further goes on to state, in one instance, a sale clerk told an investigator that, quote, it's the nature of the beast, but that he couldn't provide a receipt because the magazine held, quote, more than 10 rounds. The sales clerk then crumpled up the sales receipt that was automatically generated from the cash register and threw it in the garbage. 
Now, listen to this. You want to run somebody out of business? This is how the attorney general is going to do this. He is suing them for $7,500 for every unlawful magazine that they sold. And in addition to that, he is suing them $7,500 for every magazine that they had in inventory, which means if they had 10, 20 of these magazines, you are looking at a considerable amount in fines that this gun store may not have available. Now, of course, Bob Ferguson had to weigh in on this, and I don't know why they selected 25 gun dealers. God only knows who the 25 were that they selected, but apparently the good news, according to our attorney general, is that most of you are complying with the law. The attorney general was quoted as saying, our sweep confirmed that the overwhelming majority of gun retailers in Washington are doing the right thing and complying with the law. In contrast, Federal Way Discount Guns chose to violate a law that makes our communities safer. We will continue to proactively enforce this law and take action against anyone who illegally sells high-capacity magazines. Because we know that uh, Senate Bill 5078 and RCW 9.41.370 has saved far too many lives that we can't even count. The bottom line is, is if you're Federal Way Discount Guns, yeah, this sucks for you, okay? However, for the rest of us who are very carefully watching both Sullivan v. Ferguson and Brumbeck v. Ferguson, is there now a plaintiff that can actually prove actual identifiable injury? There most certainly is. Compliments of your attorney general. Listen, you may have more questions about this issue or anything else related to your Second Amendment rights. And if you do, remember, you can always contact us at WashingtonGunLaw.com or, of course, you can call us directly at 425-765-0487. Now, listen, let's remember. Part of being the lawful and responsible gun owner, like we talk about all the time here at Washington Gun Laws, to know what the law is in every situation and how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself. Until next time, thanks for watching. Stay safe.